premature baby. Hello, I'm Esther and I had a premature baby. Hi, my name is Dani Ruiz and my wife had a premature baby. Hello, my name is Angela and I'm 47 years old. I had a premature baby a year ago. My son was born at eight months at Hospital Virgen de Rocío, eh, where the researcher Javier Treva asked me to be part of his study. His hypothesis was eh, the fetal programming of telomere biology. Thank you, Staris. Carries out in the case of the patient, Angela Benitez, and the visualization of shortening of telomeres in membrane fetal cells. We can verify that there is a very strong relationship between the shortening and length of telomeres in fetal tissues and in chorion and the duration of gestation in terms of planning birth. Hi, I'm Esther and I had a premature baby two years ago. I suffer from Crohn disease, which might be caused by a genetic predisposition. Laura's doctor has been investigating if that intestinal inflammation could be correlated with the early birth of my baby. We found variations in genes such as the near fetal organizations domain and OD directly involved in the signaling of pro, pro inflammatory processes and activation of other proteins like IL 1 beta that are the central mediator of pathological processes of premature birth and stimulates other proteins such as prostaglandins. Hi, my name is Daniel Reed and my wife had a premature baby four years ago. Ten years ago, she was diagnosed with periodontal disease and I would like to know if there is any relationship between her disease and her pregnancy length. The cases of Esther and Daniel's wife are not isolated cases. The relationship between this type of inflammatory diseases such as Crohn and periodontal with premature birth is being studied. Mutations and common genetic variations have been already seen, therefore a genetic basis may exist. We consider a premature birth the one that lasts less than nine months, uh, but it was shown that gestation in humans lasts less than this should, and this is because some evolutionary adaptations. Bipedalism uh, caused our pelvis to narrow, and there was a selective pressure to initiate labor at an earlier time in gestation and, uh, compared to other non human primates. And this is because an um, smaller and um, a less mature fetus could exit the birth canal without any problem. According to this hypothesis, some researchers found that there are some genes that are involved in childbirth that has an accelerated rate of change in humans. For example, the gene that calls for the follicle stimulating hormone receptor. We hope that you find this video interesting. Don't forget to share it with your scientific friends. Goodbye!